Okay, Road Atlanta. Uh, track conditions are cool for this track. Uh, I've seen the track get up to uh, 40 or 41 degrees, I think. If that's the case, you may have to brake a little earlier, brake a little harder. Um, this is on hot tires, so obviously if they're cold tires, first lap, first couple of laps, uh, braking a little earlier, braking a little harder. I find um, really the the, the tires really start to warm up about lap five so keep that in mind so we'll go slow-mo uh, through the corners and then full speed um, car setups in the in the description below so coming up turn one fifth gear uh, the end of this uh, barrier here is sort of the the marker cold tires lifting kind of back here where I am right now uh, maybe even just just a dab of brake um, but when the tires are hot I find you can just lift um, just yeah around this marker here uh, you want to minimize the the steering input if you get too aggressive your back ends gonna go slide out from under you getting on the throttle a little bit just to settle that back end you want to aim for the curbs up here. Get into the camber of this corner. It'll help give the car a little rotation. Getting on the throttle as early as you can. Uh, fourth gear again. If you feel you're running wide, you're going to hit these curbs or get onto that grass lift because otherwise you are going to say hello to that right hand side wall and have a real bad race and just work your way over to the middle of the track I find you don't have to get over uh, completely to the right this this isn't a very steep corner and as you're coming up the crest here just working your way over to the left uh, it's a blind so it's it's tough just take some practice um, if someone has a good marker uh, throw it in the description or leave a comment and uh, let me know so you want to get the wheel straight, line up with these curbs, coming on up, coming up to this white line, using that as a braking marker. So braking down into third, and then kind of I guess using the end of this track is the turn-in marker. Again, it's a blind one. If someone has a better uh, marker, let me know. That would be great. But yeah, turn into the right here. You want to take as much of this curb as you can but you gotta leave a tire on the track otherwise you get a nasty slowdown uh, third gear through there little counter steer oh, mic went funny there so hugging this left hand side working your way up into fourth you want to get the car straight lined up straight here if you're got some wheel if your wheel is turned you're gonna get all out of sequence and sliding around so the end of the curb here start the turn in you can uh, take a little bit of this curb on the right if you want uh, it shouldn't upset the car too much, but just try and keep the wheel as straight as possible. I do line it up for the second curb here and the third one. And do take them. I find it doesn't really uh, take away any real noticeable time. So right where the curb kind of turns here, going to hit the brakes hard just for a second just to load up the front end down into third gear your engine is not going to be happy but I find in fourth gear the RPMs just drop too much and you slide wide I take a little curb here probably a little too much and then just unwind it you can use the full full amount of curbs here stay off the sand in this section If you if you catch, you can catch just this little bit of sand up here, and you won't get an off track. 
So in third gear, working your way up to fourth. You do have to get left, though, because if you get your tires on this little section here, you will get an off track. So make sure you get over to the left. Work your way up to fourth gear. Big straight. If there's someone behind you, there's probably going to be some passing going on. People going forward into this corner. These two white lines coming up, so braking, or in fourth gear, or fifth gear. I get up into fifth gear uh, briefly. But in between these white lines, um, getting on the brakes. Yeah, right in sort of the middle of them. Down into third gear, again, your engine is not going to be happy, but fourth gear, I find it just the RPMs drop too low and you push too wide. You can use a little bit of this curb, but you want to be in tight to this corner just to rotate the car. And then work your way <coughs> over to the left. This is a tricky section. This is where the SPO comes in. I've found with a 4, uh, I've bent the wing a few times. Um, so just be careful of that. I'm using a 3, I, I haven't bent the wing at all. So, the end of these tire marks is is kind of the best marker I have when there's traffic. If there's a car in front of you, this is going to be a lot tougher. That's another blind corner. Uh, but getting on the brakes, yeah, just after those m marks, all the way down into first gear, the engine's not going to be happy again. Uh, second gear I find, again, the RPMs are just too low and you push too wide. So I take a lot of this curb. Again, got to keep just a tire on the track there. First gear, and in the full video or in the full speed, you'll see getting into second gear as quick as you can. Even with the wheel turned, you can uh, get into second gear. And the curbs here on the left, they're, they're even wider than what they look right now, and you can use all of them. I didn't use enough of them. I, I don't think I got into second as early as I could have. Um, again, as long as you get the wheels off, as long as you don't put them on this section here, as long as you get over, uh, there's no off track. Big straight, lots of passing. Make sure you don't ruin your race coming up to this section. So fifth gear. This one you you don't want to outbreak yourself, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of time. So this uh, these two white markers again, just sort of aiming to break in the middle of them. From from fifth gear down into second. Pretty heavy on the brakes. Again, this spot you don't want to outbreak yourself. You will lose a lot of time. And you can really abuse these curbs. I came in a little hot, little counter steer. But it just keep a tire on the track. And you won't get an off track if you really go too deep into it you will get a slowdown and it's a bad one and again same thing second gear I just keep a tire on the track and you will be okay make your way over to the left just unwind the wheel third gear I kind of hold it until you're getting up closer to the top of the hill here just don't want to shift too early and bog down a bit. You can use all of this track, just don't get onto the grass. And bring the car over to the right. It's surprising how much time you will lose if you don't get over to the right. If you're on this left-hand patch here, I don't really understand how you can lose as much time as you do, but 
you do lose a lot of time. So again, aiming down this hill, getting the wheel straight, aiming for this section right here. We're in uh, fourth, or actually made it up to fifth by now. And then just getting the wheel straight, gently turning in, aiming for these curbs on the right. The end of the curbs is kind of the apex you want to aim for. Obviously, if there's a car beside you, uh, it's going to be a little trickier. Uh, actually, that is in fourth. That's that is in fourth, and then fifth, fifth gear right around here, right before the line, which is quite early. So there's really no no battle at the end. You make the corner, and that is the lap. So we'll watch it in uh, full speed. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, like I said, if there's a couple of tips that you've got, uh, certainly uh, let me know.